As all of this is unfolding in Washington, the big question is, what's happening with former Vice President Joe Biden? You can't do going in. There's always the risk mm -hmm. that your family gets dragged into things, mm -hmm. no matter who you are, no matter what's, uh, what, what the situation is. You can't talk about this moment without saying the name Joe Biden. Right. How do you think the former vice president is dealing with this? Well, look, on one hand, it's much, it's much larger than any one individual. But right. you're right. To the extent it's about Joe Biden, President Trump seems to spend an inordinate amount of his time trying to find ways to take down Joe Biden to avoid having to face him in a general election. Right. Unfortunately, with President Trump, anything's game. Joe Biden did not want to have to talk about Hunter Biden in the context of his candidacy. What does he do when the Hunter question comes up? This is definitely the president's strategy, and he throws as much dirt on the wall as possible, yeah. and he sees what sticks. In this particular case, every major media organization said that these allegations are bogus on their face, Wait, but Tony, and there's no there he, there. He, he, that was true for many things he said in right. the 2016 campaign, but they still stuck. That Hillary Clinton was crooked and she had something to hide. How do you avoid that? knowing this president is going to manipulate facts, knowing that he will resurface discredited reports. What is the strategy? Every time one of these spurious discredited allegations is brought up, the first word out of someone's mouth has to be, this has been discredited. This has been debunked. Over and over, over again. and over again. There is some analysis that says this could be a serious albatross around Joe Biden's neck, but this could sink his candidacy. I'm, I'm not a political pundit. All I can tell you is my sense is that uh, the American people know Joe Biden. They like Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. uh, look, on one level, we've got all of this swirling around us. The idea that the President of the United States would put the entire foreign policy apparatus of the United States at the service of his reelection and not the national interest, how can you not see this as a, as a tragedy and something that obviously has to be stopped?